obviously from the live pictures we showed you that a lot of you will be heading to the beach this summer and a lot of people wonder about the cleanliness of the beach you know back in 1920 swimmers at an east province beach were actually ordered out of the water because the bay was dirty yeah that's right but a hundred years later narragansett bay is a lot cleaner the beach is making a comeback here's erin coogan she's live at crescent beach tonight so erin how soon will this happen where this is back open for swimming yeah, guys, well, it's going to take a little bit longer than you'd like, especially on a day like today. It's a major milestone for local residents and local leaders, but it's going to take a couple of years. To have it officially opened in a, in a couple of years will be nice because I live right half mile away. For Ed Mace, the reopening of Crescent Beach to swimmers has been a dream decades in the making. Used to come to the park uh, when, I, when I was a kid when they had the amusement park and stuff, but even then the water wasn't uh, swimmable. And, and I know some, some people who have gone in and came out with like little marks on, on their legs. The last time swimming was legal here was in the 1920s. Even then we paid far less attention to the environment. Officials knew the water was polluted and unsafe. Narragansett Bay is much cleaner now, but some are still timid about dipping their toe in the water. There are people that go in the water here, but I, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not that brave. Kathy Santos has been active in East Providence coastal cleanups for decades. She says with the things she finds in the water, plans to reopen the beach in two years seems ambitious. Tampon applicators, syringes, some with needles, on it, some without the needles, uh, just assorted plastics, cans, water bottles. There's a lot of work ahead, and state and local leaders announced $1.3 million in federal EPA money to do it. New restrooms, lifeguards, and improving the beaches are part of the plan. It's going to transform the whole uh, area. You know, and this works so well with what's going on across the street at the carousel and now having a beach where you can come with your family and swim and enjoy and have a lifeguard on duty. Uh, that's exciting. In the meantime, twice a week water sampling will continue at Crescent Beach. Again, reopening is expected for May of 2026. Live in East Providence, Aaron Coogan, NBC 10 News.